Hello, and this is Tutorial Some Things 27, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the fishtail bracelet. I just decided to do this one because of how easy it is to make, and also if you're a new loomer and you don't know where to start, this is where you should start. This is a very easy bracelet to make, and then you can also just work yourself up from there. So yeah, this is the place to start with the fishtail bracelet. And before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and without further ado, let's get started. So for today, I'm going to be needing a loom, and I'm actually only going to use two pegs on the loom. So if you don't have a loom, you can just use this mini rainbow loom if you have one. It comes with the hook, or you can just use your fingers. Then I'm also going to be needing a hook and all these different colored rubber bands. But if you don't want to use those colors, you can just substitute them for what other colors you're going to use. And then also, I'm not going to give a size reference for, or how many rubber bands you need for this bracelet because it just depends on your wrist size so there's really no wrong right size you know how many you need kind of thing and now let's get started so first thing you need to have your loom um, with them um, facing this way I guess to your right the pegs because well I guess if you're right-handed if you're left-handed you can turn it around because that'll just make it easier for you when you um, pull over the bands so that's just a little tip for you. And so now let's get started with the bands. And first you're going to take, I'm going to take a yellow one, whatever color you're using. And I'm just going to stick it on here, just like that, into a figure eight position. So it should look like that on the loom. And then I'm just going to push down, just like that. And now I'm going to take a green one, push down. And the blue one, push down just like that. And now you're going to take your hook and you're going to take this bottom one and bring it over and take the other bottom one and bring it over just like that. And now you're going to take your blue or your ocean blue one, whatever one you're using, and you're going to take this bottom one, bring it over and take the other bottom one and bring it over. And you want to make sure you always have three bands on the peg, just like this. You always want to have three. And then I'm going to take this bottom one, bring it over, take the other bottom one, and bring it over. Just like that. And so you can kind of already see a design kind of coming out. And then we're going to take our red one. Push down. Take the bottom one, bring it over, take the other bottom one, bring it over, just like that. And you're just going to keep doing this over and over again. And so I'm going to just finish it now off camera, and then I'll show you how you can finish it. I also forgot to mention, you will be needing a C-clip or an S-clip, anything to connect the two bracelets together at the end. I'm sorry, I just forgot to mention that. But you will be needing one of those. And so now I'm just going to finish it off camera. Okay. So I finally finished the bracelet. And she kind of had this pattern all the way down, I guess. Like, I don't know if I can show you here. I'm going to pick up the camera real quick. So it should look like this all the way down. If my camera will focus. Okay. It should look like that all the way down. Okay, I'm just going to put the camera back. Right there. If I don't want to stay up. Okay, there we go. So that's what it should look like, and now I'm going to just show you how to um, finish it. And you're going to take, you should only have two on here right now, once you're done. And you're going to take the bottom one, and you're just going to bring it over. And then you're going to take the other bottom one, and just bring it over just like that. Yeah, fix it. Just like that. And now take the last one, and kind of just stick it on your hook just like that. And then you're also going to take, sorry the other side of that one and just stick it on there just like that and now you're going to stick your c-clip on there okay just going to arrange some things here so you're just going to keep it like that and I'm going to grab a c-clip real quick and you're just going to stick it on there I don't know if I'm showing you this well enough camera focus Okay, so you're just going to want to kind of pull it a little bit, 
so you can get that in there real quick, real good. And you're just going to want to hook it, oops, and both of them. I never can do this part very well, so sorry. <laughs> Just can hook them on there just like that. I don't know if you saw that, but you should just have it on there. Then you're just going to take it off. Then you're going to take the other side of this. I'm just going to fix this real quick, sorry. Okay, just like that. Whatever is good enough for you. And now you're just going to take your cat band you have right here, your first band, and you're just going to hook it on there just like that. And here is your fishtail. So I hope you enjoyed and like it. And hopefully I can see you in my next tutorial. Bye.